You probably know this book. It's a classic. Film of the Unicorn by Aaron Blaby. Velma felt a little sad. In fact, she felt forlorn. You see, she wished with all her heart to be a unicorn. Her best friend's name was Otis. He liked her quite a lot. He said, you're perfect as you are. But Velma said, I'm not. And that was when she saw it, a carrot on the ground. It gave her such a great idea. She squealed and jumped around. She took that simple carrot and she tied it to her nose. I'll say that I'm a unicorn. It might just work. Who knows? Wah, wah, well, as she did, a truck drove by. The driver rubbed his eyes. Good grief, is that a unicorn? He shrieked in great surprise as Thelma watched the swerving truck. It very nearly hit her. Would you believe that truck was filled with nice pink paint and glitter? Oh, Thelma looked amazing. She was a unicorn. I'm special now, she cried out loud. And so a star was born. All across the whole wide world, her fans would cheer her name. Thelma loved it every bit. The fame, the fame, the fame! Thelma was a superstar. Her dreams had all come true. But soon she found that so much fame was kind of tricky too. You see, her fans were mad for her. They'd scream and cry and laugh. They'd chase her everywhere. She went to get her autograph. In fact, they'd chase her all day long. It never, ever stopped. They chased her while she exercised. They chased her, they chased her while she shopped. Please don't chase me anymore, she asked the screaming crowd. We'll chase you all we want, they said. We're fans, so it's allowed. And some were not her fans at all. No, some were really mean. And some just did the meanest thing she'd really ever seen. So one dark night, she felt quite sad. The famous little pony. She said, I thought that I'd feel great. But all I feel is lonely. And so with that, she changed her mind. This lonely unicorn. She cleaned off all her sparkles and she ditched the magic horn. And then she walked right past the crowd. They didn't even notice. She thought how nice that it would be to see her lovely Otis. And when he asked about her trip beneath the favourite tree, he, she simply said, oh, it was fun, but I'd rather just be me. And that was the end of Film of the Unicorn. I hope you enjoyed it. How about check out some other Lies Book Life stories online? Bye!